Hi, I'm Jenny, and this is The Unconventional Homestead. Thanks for joining me tonight. It's Friday night. That means I'm cooking for a crowd. Every Saturday, my husband Anthony and I deliver food to anywhere from eight to 20 people. We started this over three years ago, before the right at the beginning of the pandemic, and it's just something that we really enjoy doing. So we call them our peeps. Come join me, and we are making stuffed pepper casserole. Our friend Matt from church about three years ago gave me this recipe. It's one of his favorites. I'll be taking him some on Sunday. It is super easy. That's one of the things I look for in a recipe, and this is it. I don't even cook it before I give it to them. Because you know what? The hamburger's all ground, it's minute rice, and it gets hydrated, and then tomorrow they will just bake it to get it warm. So, in my large bowl, I am making, just so you know, three batches of this. Um, so, if you follow this recipe, you could make one nine by 13 pan for your family, and then freeze two others. I'm looking, oh no, I'm sorry, it's an eight by eight baking pan. So, um, it's very filling though, I will say that. But what was nice is I came home from work, Anthony browned this as I was driving home. So we drained it, and then I just put it in the bottom of the pan. So I'm gonna go um, in order of the recipes so I don't miss anything, and I did forget to pull out my Worcestershire sauce. Okay, so each eight by eight takes one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Goodness. And of course, I do not have much in this bottle. I have another bottle I must have inherited from somebody. Oh, I have two though, that was pretty good. Oh, and I usually take my stuff. Oh, this is pretty fast stopper. Okay. Okay. The next thing is two tablespoons of ketchup. So that is just over a third of a cup. Now, I have a mini spatula here because it also takes tomato soup. Okay. It says salt and pepper to taste. I'm just gonna add a little bit of pepper. I don't add salt usually, especially to this. People can add their own. Have you ever made anything like this? I, I think this is just really filling and everybody seems to enjoy it. It is much easier to make than stuffed peppers, although I have made stuffed peppers for them. Um, and I think even if somebody doesn't like peppers, they're more likely to like this because there's just not a ton of pepper in it. Um, Now, each recipe has three-fourths of a can of water. I am gonna just kind of guesstimate and put it in these tomato soup cans so that we can clean them out. I am gonna tell you, this recipe is very forgiving. You know, if you put a little extra, 
uh, rice in or you put an, a little extra pepper in, it's not going to matter. Um, I have made this quite, at least two to three times a year for the last three years and it always turns out. So no reason to panic. This would be a good thing to have your kids help you with. Because again, exact measurements aren't required. But I do like measuring liquid into the soup cans to clean them out. Doesn't get them perfect, but it's better than it was. And all that extra flavor is good. Okay. Now I'm going to do the rice. Like I said, it's minute rice. I have off brand and I actually have a brown rice. It's one cup of rice per recipe. I'm gonna use two cups of brown and one cup of white. Because I'm trying to use up that brown rice. Um, And then it is also three cups of peppers, and these are from my freezer. But that's why I did the rice first, because <laughs> it's from the freezer, so they're gonna be a little, the measuring cups, I don't want it, they're wet now. I, I have a few more bags of peppers in my, my freezers um but then i will be this year i'll freeze dry peppers um frozen peppers turn out great but freeze dried are even better they take up a lot less space and i'm not tied to having them freezer in the freezer okay So now I use dehydrated onion, and it's the equivalent of three onions, so that is three-fourths of a cup. That smells so good. And there's cheddar cheese, but you sprinkle it on top. Um, so I don't even measure it out. I just let it... Uh, the feeling is how much we need. And then the last thing, believe it or not, is sugar. And it's um, a half to one teaspoon per recipe. So for three, I do a tablespoon. And you add sugar, you know, a little bit to a lot of tomato pick based things. Chili, vegetable beef soup. Um, because of the tomato, it kind of cuts the acidity. Now, I will let this sit here because it's really soupy. And I will do my fluff recipe. And then we will come back and do this. But I'm going to check over my recipe to make sure I got everything included. So ground beef, Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, water, onion, green pepper, sugar, minute rice, tomato soup. Perfect. You cook this for 30 minutes covered with foil at 350, preheated 350. And then you take the foil off five to 15 minutes to get that cheese nice bubbly brown. And that's it. So it's fairly simple. But you'll see, I'll pro it'll probably take me 20 minutes to do the fluff and the rice will, will definitely get rehydrated and it won't be quite so soupy. We're ready to start 
um, fill in the containers on our stuffed pepper casserole. Look at how much water that has soaked up. Much more doable. I have all the containers. I spray them. And I have all the containers out because I'm going to fill them first because I could go back and take a little out or put a little bit more in depending. Um, I have, or I used to make this for the big group, but I will say it's very um, heavy on the hamburger. Um, you could probably put more rice in it. Um, you could always give people a little bit smaller container. So this is what I do for a single. Oops. And I may have to go and steal from some of these first ones that were pretty large. because I'm not even gonna have any extra to go in the freezer, which is okay, because I had to add extra people today, which is fine, but that's what we like to do. I usually am a little, little heavy handed at the beginning anyway, so. Okay, let me show you how we put, I guess I do have half a scoop here. want to thank you for stopping by today. Let me know if you're going to try Matt's stuffed pepper casserole and what you thought of it. If you're going to make three batches and freeze two or if you're just going to make the one batch. Anyway, I really appreciate you stopping by. I hope you'll come back. Please subscribe, comment, share, and again, at, until next time, make sure you're preserving your food.